When you look at the way horses interact, it's fascinating when it comes to their culture, but also how they correct their culture. Because when you have a horse that is demonstrating behaviours that is out of alignment with the culture of the herd, what do the other horses do? You know, they'll have a bit of a communicate. But if the horse continues that behaviour, what will it do? It'll come up, and the next thing you know, you're getting a nip on the ass. That's how herds maintain order. And if the horse's behaviour still doesn't improve, what happens? He gets ostracised from the pack or ostracised from the herd. So we need to understand that's how humans operate. We are like horses and dogs. The only difference is we have a neocortex. But we fundamentally behave the same way. Now, who's experienced this in their own life when you start behaving in ways that is threatening to the rest of your herd? I call it feathers, bricks, and trucks. They'll start to say, hey, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? You shouldn't do that. Don't be silly. You're going to a what? A fucking seminar? A seminar? Sounds like a scam. That's a feather. Then they'll start throwing bricks. Don't be sure. Are you seriously going to sacrifice our time together just to go and spend an extra two hours doing some work? That's a brick. And then a truck is, if you don't stop this right now, then we can no longer be friends. Which in some cases is actually a good outcome. In some cases that's the outcome, it's the perfect outcome. When you're in the wrong herd and you start rising up, what will the rest of the herd do? They will pull you back down. When you're in the right herd and you start going back down, they will pull you back up. And here's what I've learned. It is ridiculously difficult to outrun the herd. But the question is, whose herd do you want to be in?